This is how to add realism to your images in Flux without having to mess around with the prompt. So I'm using Flux Dev here, the dev version, and I'm using that on replicate.com as normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a prompt that I actually used for the thumbnail of this video, which is close-up photo of a 50-year-old happy clown with partly worn face paint and slightly scruffy appearance. Now aspect ratio, I'm going to leave it as it is. Leave this default, leave this default. Number of outputs are changed to two just so we get a bit of variety. Leave everything else on default and I'm just going to click run and see what we get. So I'll be back with you in a second. OK, so it's generated our images, which are both looking really great, nice and bright. And, you know, they just look really nice. Nice quality images, a very typical flux kind of image here. And um, what I'm firstly going to do is I'm going to click to download these into my local folder just so I could do a comparison shortly. Now, these look great. It's kind of given me what I've asked for, but I think I want a more authentic look to these a little bit less. They do have that almost too perfect AI sheen to them, which some people find very hard to put the finger on exactly what it is. But the first thing I'm going to do to make this change is I'm going to grab the seed number from down here in the logs. I'm going to copy and paste that seed. So all that's going to do is when I regenerate this with different results, uh, different parameters, sorry, it's going to give us the most comparative results possible so we can make a good comparison, like an A-B comparison. So the big question is, what are we going to change to make these look more realistic? It's the guidance number, which might be called CFG in your particular platform if you're using it on a different platform. it's um, You'd be familiar with this if you use Stable Diffusion in the past, but the default to this is 3.5. It says 3 down there, but it always defaults to 3.5. Now, what I'm going to do, is, so I'm not just talking and boring, I'm going to drag this down to 2, which if anyone's messed with the guidance numbers in the past or know anything about it, you'll know that's actually quite a, an extreme change for an everyday image. You might just normally tweak it a little bit. I'm going to take it to 2, and I'm going to run that again, and I'm going to join you in a second and see what we get for that. OK, it's finished processing, and just have a look at these. So I'm going to, again, just quickly save them to my desktop by clicking them. It's going to put them in my local downloads folder so I can bring them up on the screen in a second and do a comparison. But even just from your own memory from the previous ones, I'm sure you can instantly notice that the images just have far more authentic look. The details, you know, the teeth are dirty. They're not all perfect. They're sort of yellowy. All the makeup's smudgy and gnarly, and everything's not over-contrast and over-processed look and it just really looks a lot more photographic. So like I said, I'll put the others on the screen now compared with these um, so you can see an A-B comparison. And in a second, I'm going to go the other way and show you what happens when you put the guidance number up. So we're going to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to take the guidance number to something like 7. So, you know, about the same amount again from 3, but just the other way, or maybe 6.5 let's do just to keep it to keep it the same. So what guidance is, I'm going to run this, but I'm going to talk while I run it so um, we can, um, I can explain. So the guidance number, the way I look at it is the lower you go from the default, the more realistic it looks. Um, and the higher you go, the more illustrative, saturated and um, slightly overprocessed it looks. So not now we've gone a few the other way from the default and you can see it's gone the other direction. Everything's bright, cartoony, illustrative. And we've all seen AI images on social media and online that look like this from people users that have either used other platforms that don't have this control or they just don't know any better. And you can try and combat this by changing the prompt, of course. You know, you post something like this on Reddit and say, oh, Flux has given me this waxy skin, this unrealistic things. And the majority of the advice will always be we need to prompt in things like film grain and camera things and all that. But a lot of it is just down to the fact that the default guidance I mean, we've exaggerated here, but even the default guidance is is too much to get realistic looking images a lot of the time. Now, the downside of going low with the guidance like I did on the other images is it can be at the detriment to a bit of coherence. So sometimes if you've got shots of that hands and holding things, if you go low with the guidance, sometimes the fingers will come out a bit mangled and you'll have that old AI hands problem that we haven't had for a while again. But normally a couple of generations will sort that out. And if you're asking for anything fantastical or not based in reality, so like something with glowing laser eyes or something like that, the lower you go with the guidance, the less likely you are to get what you want unless it's something that's based in reality kind of thing. Um, whereas the higher the guidance you go, the more it's going to adhere to what you're asking it, but at the cost of authenticity, realism, 
and you know you get this overprocessed look. So that is it in a nutshell. If you're not getting realistic looking results on your prompts before you go jumping in and changing the prompt and trying to add lots of camera terms in, go to your guidance number and drop it from like like three to two and a half, go down to two. Um, you can go down as low as one for some really creepy results. I wouldn't go less than one. It will just give you back complete nonsense usually. But if I just put those little bonus, let's put the guidance to one and run that again. And we might get some nightmare fuel. When you go down under two, um, closer to one, you start to get some real nightmare fodder on some things, which could be good if you're going for a, oh, geez, look at that guy. Looking a bit, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're definitely into nightmare fuel here. Um, but this is what happens when you go really low. So you can get some really gritty abstract. You know, this is this is almost like a hybrid of Mid Journey version three mixed with modern AI generations, like more modern algorithms and things. Look at that, very crispy. But then again, so that shows you the bit. So I have a lot of fun and a lot of utility from playing with the guidance number, and I think you should do too.